Hello and welcome back to StarCraft and today we're playing Direct Strike Commander's Mode and uh, well, it's time to show off the last Protoss Commander here in the rotation. We'll be playing as Phoenix. Phoenix is a, uh, is, well he's kind of a balanced hero to be honest. He's got no active abilities. His whole gimmick is that he spawns these super units, champions, and they're just super powered up versions of already existing units, something like the Legionnaire, Zealot, you can get, what, what is his name? You can get a Cal Dallas, which is basically a super Zealot. So it looks like I'm spawning here in the third position. We are facing off against one Kerrigan. Uh, let's see, we have an Alarak here and an Abathur. So our Alarak is taking up immediately. He didn't spawn anything in the first phase, so we have no information. Now, I, I'm not quite taking up, I'm going to go ahead and hit the tech up button, but I'm not convinced that I'm going to tech up just Yet. I want to see what I'm facing up against, and if my opponent doesn't spawn anything, then I'll just cancel the tech up. But if they do, then we'll see. We'll see if I can can't. Then we'll see if uh, see if it's worth transitioning into doing a lot of damage. So my opponent hasn't spawned anything, because uh, it would have would have shown by now. So I'm just gonna let this tech up continue, as other because there's no significant benefit. We own the middle because my middle my middle teammate took it and. Uh, my wave would die to their cannons before before the next first player spawn, so I don't need to worry about claiming the middle here. The middle is already claimed. So I'm going to take the, this time to just go straight for Phoenix, which is our hero unit, one of his other gimmicks. It's just basically a giant heroic super unit, and that's... It, he's really powerful. Like, just run up to Kerrigan and punch it in the face and win, actually. That's kind of... That's kind of how it works. So now that I'm tier 2, and we do own the middle, uh, or at least we'll own it more consistently once Alarak spawns his wave. Yes, I'm getting spawn. I'm getting scanned. It looks like he wants to know what I'm doing to counter it. Uh, yellow's gone with Immortals, which will cause some problems for me, actually. Because my unit, at least in this form, actually isn't armored. I thought he was armored. My bad. Uh, it's still Immortals pack a punch, but we'll get to see Phoenix in action. As he just kind of walks up and punches things. He's got 1,000 effective... Our HP, so yeah, he's just gonna kind of walk up and just punch all those immortals and they're gonna win. Alright, so we are up against the Tychus commander spawning first in the Rattlesnake West, so I've got to keep in mind of that. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with the Disruptor option and just kind of burn down his hero units. So because he has hero units here, let's say this guy has 625 HP, if I can burn them down a spell damage right off the gate, as this guy does 150 damage, uh, then uh, we, I just wipe out his entire wave in one shot with nothing but spell damage. So what I'm going to do here is just let let Phoenix do all the uh, do all the face tanking and DPS work, and then I have these disruptors come in just to uh, spell damage down any hero unit he has in front, whatever hero unit that may be. Looks like we're getting rolled here by the team, which is not ideal. They still have these guys, and my my disruptor is not so great at uh, daily cleaning up a large wave like this, but they will they will help. So this should clear things up, and we should start heading toward the middle again. Hopefully, my disruptors come off cooldown. They will not. Oh dear. Um, hmm. Got another another amount of time. Uh, let me go ahead and get the cloaking ability here. I don't think he would have detection yet. No, he does not. So these guys will stay alive for a while still, and long enough to activate the ability again. You don't need it. All right, so these guys will stay for the next ability. There we go. Clear out those queens. No, no heals for you. So I'm going to go ahead and invest in a tanky front line. These are like super zealots. So they have 100 shields, 200 armor, or 200 HP. I'm going to kind of walk over and deal some damage. These guys are still around. They do actually have an attack. It's nine damage every 1.25 seconds. So it's it's really not much. Uh, it's really not that much of a consequence at all. But you know, it's there. And you guys could use the ability again. Um, I'm really tempted to manually control it. If they get shot, I'm gonna manually control that. Yeah, let's just do that. Burn them down with some extra damage. And we'll get to see what our wave does. Our wave's probably not gonna do so well here. I mean, Phoenix is... I mean, he's kind of a beast. That's not gonna lie. Alright. Now you guys... Is it worth using the ability on... Uh, yes, because there's an Immortal on He's still doing damage. Alright, that's no fun. Go ahead and get some more of these going. Just to keep up the DPS. They actually hit really hard too. Like two attacks, 16 damage at two attacks. At less than a second attack. Oh yeah. 
once we get the super one, it's going to be even more. But the super one, he he's just tankier and does splash damage now. So we, they don't have a lot of small units. I don't think it's worth getting the splash damage one. But getting a line of adepts will definitely be worth it because they just they just hit really hard. Uh, their DPS is really very high, especially against light units. They do bonus damage to light units. So we got to set these guys back right here. Glory to the day yes, just like this. Once we have a tanky enough front line, then I can switch our Phoenix over to something that does a little bit more damage. Like if they had a line of Zerglings and whatnot, his whirlwind ability would just slaughter them, but they don't. They have tanky units, so setting him to Dragoon mode lets him do a little bit more damage. Assuming I have a front line that can actually face tank it. Can I have manually control these guys? Alright. Let's just burn down their medic. There we go. Probably should have targeted that on their, their back line here. Back line unit. Hit both of them with it. That should help out somewhat. Because they're invisible, they do stay alive longer. I just gotta watch out for those those random uh, random mortals coming in. Okay, I need more more of these guys. Especially against the next Zerg wave that comes up. Light units. Definitely weak to the Adepts. Look, our, our Phoenix actually lived all the way over here. Ooh, these guys are alive too. Ooh, if only they had their ability off cooldown. I mean, they're doing, they're doing the damage they need to do. I just wish we could do more. Uh, okay, so my wave just spawned. So rather than spend on more units, I'm going to invest in the, these upgrades. Give these guys their charge attack and make these guys have their psionic projection ability, which basically clones the shade and just does damage for a few extra seconds. Look at this, see it here, active. Right about now, can I save up for a damage upgrade? Yes, you see these extra pseudo invisibles and get, a, get an extra damage upgrade while we're at it. So now that we're ahead and we've very much so claimed the middle as our own. Oh yes, blow it up, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just tech up, or not tech up, uh, get get an additional gas because we're not gonna be able to take this out anytime soon, so no need to push into it. As long as we continue our chokeholds on the on the middle line, we should be okay. Is he going to hold this? Uh, yes, yes he is going to hold this, alright, so we're good here. And we'll just continue keeping the mids. The mid gives an additional one minerals per second, which for reference is equivalent to having two two gases or two simulators online at the same time, which is very good. I'm just going to get another uh, armor upgrade because my units have more armor than shields, but I'll get a shield upgrade after that. And he's going to clean up all these immortals? Uh, yes, he is. Ooh, that's nice. That means my units will be able to come in here. Let me just grab these guys real quick. And you need... Oh, it's out of range. Get closer. There we go. Burn them down. There we go. These you took out pretty much two heroes with uh, with these three disruptors just alone. Let the rest of our guys just walk up. This isn't, isn't that's that's what these guys are meant for. It's just dealing the burst damage to burn down their medic and whatever's next to it before they have an opportunity to to really recover. So the next up, um, I just want more of these guys and then get the. Get the Talus hero, who has a nice special ability. Let's show, show it to you here. Uh, it's Ricochet Glaive. I mean, that's actually right here. So it, an amplified glaive that ricochets three times and hits enemy units for 25 damage. And once we get it upgraded, it causes each unit hit to take additional damage for five seconds. So let's go ahead and get that upgrade right now. Because a wave just spawned. And then all of these super tanky units, or even the uh, Tychus heroes will also take additional damage. So I'm not going to gas up again because we're, we're, we're kind of losing the middle a little bit. There we go. But I will get a shield upgrade. That'll help our guys out a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't even clear out all these immortals, which is not good. Are we going to get... Nah, that, they've got too many medics. I think I need to take these guys off of... Uh, I just need to catch the wave. I don't want to take that off AI because I want them to do something when I'm not paying attention. But I need to really keep my eye on them once they've once the wave has spawned. So let me go ahead and get some immortals to try to counteract some of their own immortals. I could probably also really do well with some more legionnaires in the front line. Just get a little bit more tankiness in there. For the moment, I'm not too concerned because we still have Phoenix in his um, in his tanky mode because he he'll do a lot of tanking for us. So right now, I can invest a little bit more, a little bit more on damage. Focus on letting our Phoenix tank for us. And once we get a little bit more stable front line, then go into... Oh, this is not good. Front line zealots, please do your thing. Oh, well, I should have caught them. I mean, they'll, they'd got good hits anyways. Let's see. Now, they wouldn't have gotten many kills because of the, the damage. Or the amount of damage necessary. But they still did the DPS. 
Alright, so if I can burn down these guys, uh, I think these guys will come off cooldown before they die horribly. Uh, yes, they're still stealth, so I can go like, one, two, three. Nuke those guys into non-existence, and then let them walk over. Alright, so I'll leave these guys on autocast for now, because there's no super targets in this next wave. Yeah, I need to be on top of those, uh, on top of those disruptors if I'm gonna do some real good work with them. Get some more immortals. How are my immortals doing? I, yeah, I don't have any left. Okay, well, it was just the stealth that kept, that kept the disruptors alive. This is fine. So next up, I want to get another immortal and a conservator. It's the, uh, the Phoenix version of the Sentry. It has very Sentry-like abilities. Let me get one more upgrade. Uh, ground weapons. Yeah, ground weapons. Do some more damage. You take you off autocast temporarily. And wait for the Tychus, Tychus wave to show up because my guys will clear up. There we go. I want to burn down their tank units. I want to burn down their tank units real quick. That way they don't have that front line and we can start cleaning up their back line. Isn't that nice how that works? If I could get a couple more of those, that would be really nice. But I do. I need to keep up with the uh, the main the main force. Guys, once the front line is gone, we could we could focus down their heroes or their uh, their medics. The back line isn't too big of a problem. Not that Tychus has much of a line set up to him. If I can just have a good, strong backbone here with it, the mortals for damage and adepts for both damage and then legionnaires and the phoenix for tanking, then we should, should be alright. Let's see, what more do I need? That's the conservators. They have very sentry-like abilities with the whole um, protective field idea. Just basically anything inside just takes less damage. Let's get one more. There we go. Save that for next wave. Take the autocast off of these guys temporarily. Uh, and we're getting pushed real hard. Alright, Phoenix, do your thing where you just face tank everything, please. Good job. We burn down their tanks again. Oh, it moved. Ooh, well, one of their tanks dodged, which is not great. Uh, let's see. At least they're, uh... At least... Ah, jeez, the Tychus wave is all but gone, but these, these Dragoons, they're still, still sitting back there. That's not good at all. Okay. Get a couple more legionnaires. Come on. There we go. Are there any upgrades that we missed? Just in case I missed anything, though. No. Okay, so Taldurin, we'll get him next. Oh dear, we lost our lost our bunker. Here am I. Okay, let me go ahead and get the armor for these guys so we can be a little bit more tanky. take these guys off autocast so I can burn down a single unit when it comes. I don't think I can save for the tech. I can't save for the Tychus wave. Or can I? They're still hanging in there. No. Let me just cast this right there. there go. Alright, well, that's gonna be the end of those. Let me get a couple more disruptors so I can do some more damage with that burst. And then try teching up into Taldurin. I suppose it's not a tech up, that's just spending more spending more on another super unit. I still think Tychus in his uh is it? Let's try turning him into his Dragoon mode. Get that extra damage in there. He works really well versus aircraft, because he has an air splash ability, which is this one here. Deals an air bursting flare that does a lot of splash damage to aircraft, which is really nice. Uh he also just does a lot of damage, it's, you know, it's 55 damage straight. So take these guys off autocast. It looks like we'll be running more into the Tychus wave than much of anything else. I notice that they don't have a whole lot of air superiority, but they do have some air artillery. So we should probably invest into some air superiority fighters of our own. There we go, this is what we're looking for. So that should burn down these guys. And then, let's go ahead and do this. Come on. Alright. Mind? I uh, didn't cast because I shift clicked, and they already have movability, so not 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 gonna do that. I just just auto target, please. Thank you. Make things go away. Okay, so next up, you need to be bigger and beefier, and your special ability already unlocked. Nice. So do we need splash or air superiority? Is my question. Considering they have tempest, I think air superiority is the answer. So. So our answer for air superiority is scouts. Let's go ahead and put you right here. These guys, if you recognize them from Brood War, basically like raids, they just do a 
not so great versus ground units, but versus air units, they have antimatter missiles. They uh, fire two attacks at seven damage, or fourteen, or doubled that for versus armored. So versus things like purifier tempest here, which are armored, they kind of deal a lot of damage per second. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, really. And now we're just kind of walking all over them. Isn't that great? How we have two phoenixes here. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. All right, very good. Now. Now they have their own. Oh, they got some air superiority fighters of their own in the forms of these brood mutilists. Fortunately, we have the flare ability, which just kind of wipes them out of the sky. Ooh, there's that mothership. Remember that mothership from last video? That was, that was good. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more of these guys. And then we can upgrade one of these, let me hard to you, into Moho, which is, uh, or Mojo, sorry. And he, he's, he's got a really nice attack, where any time he attacks, he uh, stuns whatever air mechanical unit is being being attacked by him. So that's, that's really very nice. Let's say you have something like Bruce's Battle Cruiser, he just kind of wins. He also does splash damage, which is kind of powerful. And he also does a lot more additional damage because he's, you know, a hero unit. And we might just win here. I think, uh, I think we just kind of hard countered him to, to non-existence. Yep. Uh, good luck, Zerg Wave. Zerg Wave actually has a chance of pummeling us back here. Up until these guys. Oh. oh, my wave crashes so hard. It's... Okay. Yeah, he had to use his frenzy ability. Which will do. Jeez, oh, this guy already got 11, 11 kills. Alright. Where's our, our superiority? Oh, they got shot down by the. Our scouts got shot down by the the base. I was wondering why these broodloads are still alive. It's because all of my fighters got taken out of this guy. Let's see if Alaric can do some work here. Alaric does have that one push ability, but I think he's already... Yeah, he's already... He already bit the dust. Let's go ahead and get a couple more of you before the time runs out. Did we get it? I think we got it. Right over here. Here we are. Yeah, we did get it. Alright, so next up, we're going to want some bonus damage on these guys. Good to get the ability on them, and also get additional range. Uh, that... Ability also gives range, so we'll just auto cast the damage upgrade. Now our disruptors here should just be able to focus down these hero units. Not that we need to focus them down much. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Bye hero units forever. And all of these tempests are going to go away because we have scouts and they do great work. I think they got distracted taking down was it a couple of broodlords and also the hydralisks? Come on, take it down. Oh, take down the broodlord. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, didn't get it in time. We did a lot of damage to their aircraft, but not enough. That means I need more of these guys, which I think is going to be a good solution. We can also tech up, get to tech level 3, and then get carriers. But I'm not convinced that's going to answer our problems. I think if we just get rid of, just completely dominate the sky, then we'll be able to remove any any chance of them coming back because all of their area all of their siege units all the things that are stacking are up in the air uh, additionally because this map looks like it's going to go on for a while i should actually get another another gas oh wait a minute no i shouldn't it takes 10 minutes for this gas to pay off and it's already 18 minutes so i should have gotten the gas a few minutes ago when we were pushing for the lead uh because i don't expect this match to go on for literally half an hour then i don't i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be getting i'm gonna be getting that Will they survive? Oh, he gets he gets another burst off and takes out a healthy chunk of them. Ooh, and their uh, command their Kerrigan ability comes in. That'll stun everyone. Okay then, so I need to be doing more damage here. Some more scouts. And I am gonna tech up. You have these still going. Yes, let me go ahead and tech up. Get shields later. Still, most of my units are more armor than shields, so. If I were to get one or the other, but not both up armor uh, armor upgrades, then I would should get a uh, armor rather than shield upgrade. But if I tech up to tech level three, then I get some access to some cool new toys, including Benetton Latitude's carriers, some double duration on these conservators, as well as a few other niche things like oh, disruptors gain access to the purification echo, which casts its ability twice basically, which is really powerful. All these guys down. Uh, they still have, they have a lot of anti-air, like ground to air, in the form of these dragoons and the hydras in the next wave, which is a little bit rough to deal with. Right, these brood mutalisks, they take, they actually take a surprising amount of amount of damage here. 
I guess because I have so many queens behind, I'm just healing them up. Oh dear. You need some, some air splash, some proper air splash. Something that isn't just ability oriented. Our Abathur's got a really, really meaty line here. Okay, so now we have access to some new abilities and such. I definitely want to get this, and this, and this, and what are you? Oh, plus 15% damage on Phoenix? Yes, please. Alright, so next up, I think carriers are going to be a good option. They work well both ground and air. Especially when we upgrade our carrier with the own super unit. It has its own Clolaron. Clolarian. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. Which gains special interdictors. Uh, special interceptors called interdictors, which uh, do great, glorious things. I don't have detection yet. Might as well get that. Not that I see a whole lot of a whole lot of sneaky shenanigans out of them, but it's, it's good to have anyways. How are my disruptors doing? I only have two left. That's not good. Disruptors would work really well against things like these queens. Yes. Right, so it looks like a lot of my scouts are dying pretty early on here before even the next wave comes out. So they just have a lot of ground to air. Look at that. Explodes twice. So each... Each one of those disruptors takes out an entire queen by itself, which is which is good. Let me invest in a carrier. I don't have enough money for it yet. Need more monies? Give me more monies. There we go. Perfect. Totally planned. These carriers should help out with a lot of these ground forces. Especially once given the upgrade. It gets a, when upgraded into the super unit, it gains this thing called the solar beam, which is basically a void ray beam. Way. You. Maybe I should get some more of these conservators just for the bonus damage resistance. It's it's a full 35% damage resistance, which is really nice. Yeah, those disruptors are doing a lot of work in the back end there. It's it's really good, even if it doesn't get the kills. Well, now it's it's getting a lot of kills, but even if it doesn't, it's doing a lot of work to hit those big beefy units that are that are just kind of tanking hits from everything else forever. It looks like we're stacked up a little bit. The bonus of having carriers is that they stack up, they're like air siege units. So when this whole stacking things happen, I have units that survive for a long time, like these disruptors for example. Like This one has 11 kills and counting. And it's making it worth it. Oh. <laughs> just sniping out hero units every time these disruptors. Look at that. Burst, burst, just took out two hero units, including a medic disruptor by itself. That's, you see, that's why we get these disruptors here. Now we have three of these, I guess you start investing into the hero units. One thing I, I didn't notice is that the hero units scale. If you, the first unit you get is, is the hero unit for the one of the Phoenix hero units, it's not all that great, but the more of the similar kind of unit you have, the more damage it does. Say, for example, this Talus. It has this Ricochet Glaive, and it takes up to 5 seconds off of its cooldown, it starts with a base of 10 second cooldown, and for every additional adept we have, it takes off like half a second, I think, is is off the cooldown. So if we have 10 adepts, not including Talus, then we have minus 5 second cooldown on the Ricochet Glaive. Ricochet Glaive is the one that makes everything else that it hits take extra damage, and I think we're just going to win here, because we have ground units that are just punching it in the form of Immortals. Nope, oh, barely, but we still have these siege units coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and get upgrades for the push here. I was I was just gonna get the uh, hero unit, but if I get these air upgrades, then my wave will hit a little bit harder, and perhaps we shall win. Right here, right now. Oh, well, we're gonna get one alpha strike, and that's gonna be a GG! All right, guys, that has been... I, I, I like this commander a lot. But if we're, next up, we're gonna be going into the Terran commanders, and we've got a, a nice surprise for you there. So for now, check back next time, and I'll see you guys later.